Hello and welcome to another episode of Damage Jim's Gun Info. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Romanian Wasser 22, which is an AK-47 trainer in 22 caliber. The usual AK-47 shoots the 7.62 by 39 cartridge, which is rather hefty as you can see compared to the 22 long rifle. So this is a great little plinking rifle. Now as you can see by looking at it, it looks like the standard make out of an AK-47 style rifle. It has a fixed stock with a little plunger in the backside for the cleaning kit so that you can put one in there. It has the standard safety, standard adjustable sights both front and rear. It comes with the standard furniture which you can swap out because this up here has nothing in it. It's the gas tube upstairs. There's, it's a blowback operated firearm. So you can change the furniture out to whatever you end up wanting to change it out to. Now the Wasser 22 is made, uh, it was in Romania, made by the Wassenaar Armament Semi-Automatic Rifle, so WASR series rifles. Like I said, this one is in 22 long rifle. It was originally designed as a cadet rifle. Uh, it was manufactured in Romania by Novo Modul. And unlike the AK-47, like I said, this is blowback operation and it has no gas system, generally speaking. So it was designed for military cadets so they can, you know, learn basic firearm and marksmanship training. And they eventually decided not to implement these because there were just so many of these weapons as far as the normal caliber weapons as far as military service rifles available. So there was no need really to actually implement these for the cadets. They actually used regular military issue firearms. So these were then imported to the Americans through Century International Firearms for the you know, shooting and civilian market. And the neat thing about them, because the low cost of ammunition, you can actually go out and spend all day shooting and not really spend too much money because you can get boxes of 22 caliber ammunition in 50 count up to 500, 550 count. So a couple of boxes of that will probably last you the majority of the day. Now these come with original OEM magazines which have the metal that look like standard AK-47 magazines. And unfortunately I don't have any of those available here. But what I do have is these Black Dog uh, aftermarket manufactured uh, magazines that you can probably see that's Black Dog manufacturing. And this one is a 30 round capacity. This one here is a 25 round capacity. And I wanted to show you the difference between the two because it's just ever so slightly because of the capacity. One is slightly larger than the other, but barely, uh, as far as internal capacity. Now, as you can see, you can see through this. So you'll know when you're shooting that you're getting low on ammunition or you just put a new magazine in there and you can tell that it's loaded just by looking through the side. So you can actually count your rounds. You can't see very much from the backside, but from the side, you can tell where your ammunition level is. Now, this is a last round bolt hold open. Uh, follower so whenever you fire the last round it'll eject it and then this will pop up and this will cause the bolt to lock to the rear so you'll know that your firearm is empty to change out magazines and the way these operate generally speaking is just like any other AK which means that we'll take this out here as far as my stand so holding the pistol grip if you end up holding the pistol grip if you flip the safety down now the safety is off and you would cycle the gun just like any other AK the safety on blocks the trigger so you can't utilize that and blocks the uh, charging handle as well. Now the manual of operation of the A Wasser 22 is similar in uh, operation of the regular AK-47 style rifles. As you can see with the safety on you can't cycle the action and the hammer doesn't fall. What you can do is take the safety slide it all the way down and once it locks into place now you're you can cycle the slide and you can actually fire the firearm so you have already cleared it make sure it's clear and then you can fire your gun then it cycles like so now to load the firearm once you put the safety and everything back into place you'll take your magazine and it's just like your standard ak magazine hook it to the front and rock it to the rear and this goes we call it rock and lock magazine so it's just take and lock it right in place to remove it you take up you grab your magazine with your thumb here, push forward towards the magazine and rock the magazine out. So with these, you can see that once you end up having the last round fired, the follower, oh, come on you. 
once the magazine is in place, you just rotate it and it locks into place. Now, as I said earlier, there is a follower on us, the last round bolt hold open follower. So when you shoot the last round, it'll eject the cartridge and it will lock the bolt to the rear so that you realize that you're out of ammunition. And you can look inside and see the empty chamber and you can actually see the color of the follower and you'll realize that it is empty. So then you can just change the magazines. Now, mind you, when you release the magazine from the magazine well, the bolt will go forward. So you'll have to put another magazine in and then wreck the charging handle. This is you you'd usually do on any AK style rifle anyway, because they don't have the standard last round bolt hold open mechanism that an AR-15 has as an example. The takedown of this firearm is just like the regular AK. You push back on the tab back here and lift up on the dust cover. Dust cover comes off. Now mind you, it's machined a little bit different because it's a smaller caliber, so you don't have as much uh, space for ejection. Then you have your bolt. There's a spacer. There's your hammer. So you can pull the charging handle back. That way it pulls the and locks the bolt to the rear, or as you were, the, the hammer gets uh, locked uh, in cocked mode. You push this forward, lift it up, and that comes out. Just like your standard AK, it looks very, very similar. The, the two piece with the spring on the outside with the thing right there, and the bolt comes back. And once it gets back to a certain level, you may have to take the spacer out once you take that spacer out, this comes back, and there you go. There's your bolt. Okay, so to put that back on, it goes back in place there. And that was into making it super difficult for you every time, never fails. And then it goes, slides forward. You put your spacer back into place. Okay, you take your spring, put it back in so, slide that forward, back in, be careful they're springy, push that forward, and it locks into the position, then you take your dust cover, lock it into the U-notch right there on the top, right above that, and then push down, and it locks into place. Function check, and there we go. So... That is the Wasser 22. There are several different manufacturers that how they're imported. Chiapa started importing them and several other different organizations tried to import them as well. Um, something interesting about these, you have the importers information, everything right here. About these is on the side is has Wasser 22, caliber 22 long rifle. What's interesting is these have a three section serial number. So the first appears to be the caliber 22. The second four batches of numbers ends up being the production line as far as the sequential number of when this one was manufactured. For example, this was the 87th rifle produced and the last two are the years. So this is 05. So in 2005, this was the 87th rifle produced for a 22 caliber on this. And as you can see, for importation reasons, they've got US furniture. So it's got a nice fixed stock with a sling mount here and a sling mount up here with American made manufactured uh, furniture. Something that's interesting is that it doesn't have the bayonet lug that's been machined off, as you can see. And the front of the barrel, <coughs> excuse me, muzzle brake is not uh, there. So this has been machined down, so there's no threads. And the retainer that normally ends up being for the retention spring for the muzzle brake is not there. So just something that's just interesting. So this is the Wasser 22. And, <coughs> excuse me, I hope you've uh, enjoyed just kind of looking this out. I can't wait to take this out to the range, get some rounds down through it and see how she performs. So as usual, shoot safe. And thanks for watching this episode of Damage Gym's Gun Info.